Last time we went through this particular example where you had to think outside of the box and we used knowledge that we got from doing questions like this except it's easier to make X the subject here than it is here. So here's another opportunity to see um, how to think outside of the box. So it involves a little bit of problem solving. Um, so this one's a little bit more different, uh, but previously, again in the one above, we had to recognize to use that, which is the format of a quadratic. This one, the negative kind of gives it away, so we had to times everything by e to the x to increase the power here and eliminate the power here. And the reason we can do that is because say we had 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. 3 times 2 to every single component will still get the right answer. So let's continue with this. And remember if it's the same base, it's e to the 2x. Minus 3 and this will become e to the 0. I'm just going to move this one to the other side. It becomes negative 2x. So, after tidying this up a little bit, that's where we get. And from here, you can use the technique we used before. Let a equal to e to the x. So, um, and then we can sub this in. So that becomes. Um, a squared minus 2a minus 3. Using the null factor law after we factorize. a is equal to negative 1 or 3. So remember, if you get this in a multiple choice, these are not the answers, these are the um, traps. You've got to keep going because a is equal to e to the x. So remember you're solving for x, not a. These are the two possible solutions. In order to pick them out, let's take a log to both sides. one it's log e e x cancel cancel so this is the only solution because this is not defined <laughs> 